going to walk through our fundamental chart tool and we'll touch on the different features, workflows, and customizations that this tool offers. In this first example, we're going to walk through creating a brand new chart from scratch. And the first thing that we can do here is we can start to add some securities. Within the fundamental charts, you're able to add a bunch of different types of securities. This will include stocks, funds, indices, SMAs, and economic indicators. So as I go in and I start to add in different securities, you will see the chart starts to load with a default metric. Here I added in ETFs and stocks, and I'm actually going to just remove one of these metrics here just so I can focus on price. Now that I have these securities loaded into my chart, I can switch around the data format of the chart depending on what I'm trying to convey to clients or colleagues. Currently, the data format is set to original, so this will just show the original value of whatever the metric is. In this case, price, it's showing the dollar value. If I want to easily compare securities that have very different values, if I switch to the percent change here, this will give me a clearer idea of how all these securities are doing in relation to each other. I can also choose this growth data format, which will default to a 10K, but I can switch around and make this any number I'd like. And this is good if I want to see the increase or decrease in value. And then lastly, we have the percent off high, where this will track the percentage difference between the most recent value and the highest value during that time period. I'm going to go in and switch this back to our normalized data format. And in addition to adjusting the format of the chart, I can also go in and adjust the look back period here. So I can choose one of these pre-selected look back periods, or if I want to enter in a specific start and end date, I can fill in these boxes over here. I'm going to keep this at a three year look back and in addition to viewing the price metric that I have on this chart, I can actually go in and add additional metrics that will load on the same chart as well. So to do that, you can either type the name of the metric if you already know what you're looking for, or if you want to browse all available metrics that you can add, selecting the browse button here will then allow you to view by the different categories. I'm going to go in and just add market cap, for our stocks and then AUM for our ETFs. And as you can see, those securities then get added to our chart. To make customizations to the look of your chart, you'll want to head to the annotate tab up here and it's going to load in every security and corresponding metric that you have in the chart currently. To make these annotations or edits, you can select the gear icon here and this is where you'll be able to make adjustments to the thickness and the color of the line. You're able to also add security specific events and something like a min, max, or average line. And then you can actually change the customization of the line to show something like an area chart. For this, I'm just going to add the min and we'll add the max line of Apple's price over this three year period. And as you can see, it gets added here to the chart. Once I'm happy with how my chart looks and I want to go in and save, I will select new fundamental chart here and then give it a name. We have a few different sharing options. So if you select share here, the first one being to share with a team. If you have any colleagues that have a YCharts account, if you select this, you'll be able to directly send them this chart that they can also then access within YCharts. You're also able to embed this chart as well as attach it directly into your next tweet. I've gone ahead and I've cleared out my chart for our second example. So if you're not sure where to begin or you want to view a chart that you might have seen in one of our webinars or slide decks, you'll be able to utilize our template section. So if I select new fundamental chart and then new from template here, this is where you'll be able to find a variety of templates broken down into different categories. 
I'm going to look at one of our more popular templates, which will be under economic data. This is going to be our yield curve analysis. So if I select next, you'll see that it will load the chart. And with that chart, it's going to load all of the different treasury rates on the website. In addition to viewing these economic indicators here and seeing the data on the chart, I can also add a spread using these indicators here. So I'm able to add things like ratio spreads and correlations to our fundamental charts by heading down to the bottom and selecting create. And from here, I'll be able to choose which one I would like to add to our chart. I'm going to look at creating a spread that is going to be the 30 and three year treasury yield. So I'm going to go in and I'm just going to start typing in the name of these yields. And then click submit and then the chart will load again. And once it's finished loading, if I scroll all the way to the bottom, I'll see that spread now that has been added to my fundamental chart view. One thing you might notice is that this chart looks a little bit different from the one that we were viewing earlier. That is because I have this chart in presentation view here. This will give you an idea if you go to export to a PDF or to an image, what your chart will look like. If I take it out of presentation view, you can see it's a little bit more condensed than if I turn this back on. Within this presentation view, I can add a few customizations. I can adjust the title here if I'd like, as well as add some notes. And then I can even change the chart size. So the amount of pixels that the chart will be. I have a few different options here, as you can see, when I choose a different option, the chart becomes a different size. And then if I wanted to save this as an image or save it as a PDF file, what I can do is I can head to export here and I have those options such as like the download image or print, which will save as a PDF. Or if I just want the raw data, I can export it to an Excel file here. If you have any questions on our fundamental charts tool, please reach out to your account manager.